So I'm going to just start recording here and I'm going to point it not at your mirror, but okay. just going to point it down here. Okay. And so um, we are talking with one of the jurors in the case uh, today about what happened. And can you tell us what happened when the jurors went back? First of all, what was everyone laughing at uh, when when y'all walked out after closing statements? It sounded like a lot of laughter coming from about lunch. Okay. <laughs> there was no lobster. There wasn't a lobster. <laughs> there was no. Okay. Um, so what happened when you went back to the deliberation room? What was the first vote? I was divided. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you know? Do you recall the number? Um. I would say nine to three. Nine against or nine for guilty? Against, yes. Okay. And which one were you? I was undecided. Undecided, okay, so 9 to 3, I see. So, what, um, you know, what were some of the points that, uh, that people were making back there? Um, mostly, they knew what they were doing. Um, they knew the staying there me meant they were going to face uh, charges or whatever and they normally stayed in the park when they have options. But Rosa Parks knew that if she did not move to the Absolutely. other end of the bus. And I, I, I don't so talk about that. How much discussion of civil disobedience we was did, there? We did. We did. It was, I think it took us longer because we were discussing that. So, you know, it took us a while to convince the three of us that well, two were one one person was saying not guilty from the beginning I think the other person was two and I was on the side so my reason was that absolutely that was what I had in mind the whole time but <clears throat> we were not here to change a law that is in place we were here to discuss if they committed a crime or not so right but the judge even said if your conscience tells you that the law is wrong you can still rule not guilty yeah, yeah was right. that clear when he yes when he said that, that was very clear yes yeah so you were introduced by both the uh, prosecution and the defense to the idea of jury nullification mm -hmm. uh, can you uh, you know give me a summary of what your understanding of that was the week we could, it depends on the law, we could uphold it or not. So I understood that no matter what the law says, I can still say, you know, they have the right to be there. Uh, and I do believe they have the right to be there. I, I, but I also believe that we need to have rules on our society. And if we don't follow those rules, I was telling the people that were in the jury with me, I come from a country where there are not a lot of rules. and. My country's not doing very well, so I choose to follow those rules so, so we can live on a better country. Do you believe what the prosecution said that had you, as a jury, come back with not guilty verdicts, that people would then move into the parks and turn them yeah, into I campgrounds? Don't. I don't. I, I don't. Do you so think anybody else on the jury yes, believed that? Yes. Very strong about that. So I, I didn't. I don't think that would change. I, no. That, I was not convinced by that, but my convincement was in the fact that they knowingly made that mistake. And I think we were not here to decide of whether your movement is right or wrong. Um, we were here because of a different reason, and I think that was what made it the guilty vote. Was there any discussion amongst the jury about the Constitution, the right to assemble? <laughs> yes. Free speech. Yeah, and when the attorney for them spoke, I was very much with her, but she omitted the other half of the paragraph, and it just it kind of nailed it for most of the people that were there. I'm like, you have the right, absolutely, we all do. We all want a lot of changes, but we also have to have rules to that, and uh, we need to follow those rules. So there, there are all the ways to do these things. There, you know, there are all the ways to do it, and you you can accomplish a lot of things. Not you don't have to break the laws. 
would, would the jury have convicted, would this jury mm -hmm. have convicted Gandhi or Martin Luther King for a lot of the nonviolent, peaceful, civil disobedience that they committed? Because after uh, all, they were breaking laws. I said half of them would. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, I think that's a very sad statement uh, about current society. Yeah. I, I, trust me, I was very in the middle. Was it, um, since you were in the middle and there were two people who were for not guilty right out the mm -hmm. gate, um, was everyone aware that, uh, you know, had, had you stayed firm, uh, or those folks stayed firm and maybe if you had, you know, been not guilty, that you could have stayed there, that there wasn't, it wasn't necessary to return a verdict. Was that made clear to you yes. by the, the yes. court staff? Yes. So I'm they felt sure. like, do you feel like they, really they felt, um, pressured into changing no, their votes uh, at no, all? No, absolutely not. No, no. So do you feel like they were they were con convinced into changing from not guilty to guilty? Because they could have stayed not guilty and y'all would have come back with a hung yes, jury. And... Yes, and somebody stayed there for a while. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we make sure that we read what they gave us, and read the charges and read, you know, all the different information that we had with her and we gave her time to, you know, to get to her own conclusion on her own. And she did, so. So the fact that this was a Friday afternoon and you guys could have just changed your votes real easily, gone home by lunch, and then had basically a two and a half day weekend, didn't play into oh, no. the change of no. decisions? No, no, this is, I've done three, three trials in the last three weeks. It doesn't matter to me, so it, I they don't. They put you on that. three trials? Yes. You had to hear, you sat on a jury for three trials? Um, on 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 two and one, uh, it got dismissed. Mm -hmm. So didn't have to sit on that one. But what was the other one? I rather not say. Okay, no problem. All right. Well, you've been very helpful, right. and uh, I appreciate it. Let me get you some some money here. Yeah. But thank you very much. Do they pay you fifteen bucks a day here? I have no idea.